Hey guys, Professor Bill, Comic Book University, and Spider-Man Annual, issue number one. Uh, this was this was pretty fun. I like this, and there is a kind of a first appearance. There's a first costume appearance here. We know that Spider-Man is going to be, Miles Morales is going to be changing his superhero name at some point. Excuse me, and possibly getting a new costume. Well, here's a good one, but it's a prequel <laughs> sort of, this is a prequel story for the most part. We we are fighting uh, Morbius the Vampire in here, but the, the story itself is actually, it's got a huge backdrop on where Miles' confidence come from. And it's, it's funny because it's the exact opposite that Peter Parker had. Peter Parker got his confidence from Uncle Ben, for the most part, telling him all these good things. Miles, they're showing, really gets the, the bulk of his confidence, at least, from his Uncle Hobby. You know what I'm saying? Um, oh, wait, is that... Is he Hobby in this one? I can't remember because Hobby... No, he's not Hobby Brown in this one. He's a very different character. Prowler from the Earth-1610 universe is different from the Prowler in the Earth-616. Um, Crap, I can't remember his name. Anyways, Miles' is uncle. So anyway, um, let's just get down to the, 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 the book's credits really quick. Brian Edward Hill is the writer. Nelson Blake II with... Aletha E. Martinez are the artists. Mark Bagley is the present-day penciler. And Roberto Poggi is the present-day inker. Carlos Lopez is the colorist. And VC's Corey Petit is the letterer. Digging it. Digging it. Chris Anka and Ryan Benjamin do the cover and the variant cover arts, respectively. Um, anyway, this is... This was fun. You know what I'm saying? We get to see... Miles Morales years ago on his birthday dealing with his uncle and this obviously would have been in the 1610 universe uh, at least I'm assuming I'm assuming but then again I don't know they they're kind of showing some stuff here in this present universe so it's weird how everything kind of it almost feels like it coalesced <laughs> you know what I'm saying rather than just crossing over or combining it just coalesced so um this is a, a situation where Miles failed. Now, I know this kind of story that they use with Peter Parker every so often, you know, the, the night that Parker failed, and it's a really major thing on him. Uh, here, it just really did not resonate nearly the same way. They introduced a character, at least I've never seen this character before. They introduced this character who's like, hey man, take my sister out for a little while, show her a good time, you know what I'm saying? Uh, everybody in my family's really influential and everything, and you know, just want to you know, take care of her, she's in your class, and you know, blah, blah, blah. It's like, if they would have built this up, it would have been better. Uh, realistically, this wasn't meant to be a build-up, though. This was meant to be an introduction. So... Bendis isn't writing Spider-Man, well, the, the Earth-1610 Spider-Man anymore, so uh, they need a new writer. I'm okay with Hill writing. Hill is a hell of a writer, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But this particular book, I feel like this story should not have been the story in here. I just don't feel like it should have been because there was so much story here that was just kind of crushed together to fit into an annual even though it's a nice big thick but well, it looks like it's a double-sized book it, it didn't have nearly enough breathing space to really flesh out the story you can't feel bad for a character you never met before you know what i'm saying it's like oh i just met him in this issue there, there's only but so much love that you can feel for uncle ben in that first issue because who cares you know the reason why we really love Uncle Ben is because of all the stories that came afterwards where he, he talks about his Uncle Ben. We see some stories about Uncle Ben in the past. That's what really gets us to love Uncle Ben. Not that first amazing fantasy issue number 15 comic. That's just like, oh yeah, he lost somebody who he really loves and it really meant something to Spider-Man. So that's cool for Spider-Man. We didn't care about Uncle Ben nearly as much with that first issue. That, was, that came later. So here... They're kind of trying to recreate the wheel, but they're which is fine. But they're doing it in a like I said in a very compressed story, man. And I just don't think that this worked. You know, it wasn't a bad story, not by any stretch of the imagination is this story bad. But it's just uh, so anyway. That main character he dies, and it's it becomes a big deal for Miles apparently. But this is also something that happened years, possibly many years in the past. So they're going to show the first 
outfit that he wore. It's based on a shirt that he already had on, a little, like, you know, puffy shirt jacket type of thing, like a pullover, and also a pair of goggles that he found on a mannequin someplace, and just, he just put together this hodgepodge costume, and it looked cool. I I liked this, you know what I'm saying? With a couple little touches, if they are going to do a new uniform, oh, please make this the new uniform. This is awesome, you know? I would like to see that in some video game. They have a, an alternate costume, you know, a reskin, where you can use this costume. Why not? You know, this is like the original homecoming costume where it's like, oh, yep, yeah, sorry, dude. We, uh, um, uh, this is your original costume before, uh, Tony Stark came along and gave you this new costume. Here you go. Uh, this is like that, you know? So, uh, so it, it was nice to see that. But for the most part, yeah, the story just, uh, there was so much there. And I just feel like the ball was majorly dropped and it bounced several times before anybody realized that they dropped it, you know? Uh, I don't know. I, I felt like this was a hugely missed opportunity. Anyway, as long as they've got a good idea going forward for the new series that's going to come out, as long as they've got a good name for, for this new version, this the new name instead of just calling him Spider-Man, got to be careful with that name and please don't call him Spidey. But anyway, I, I'm good with a costume similar to this. But I I, I feel so bad that they just... Ah, really missed out on, on expanding on this story because it would have been great. Anyway, that's it for me, guys. I'm just, I don't know. Yeah, bothered by that. All right, Professor Bill, Comic Book University. Class dismissed.